Happy International Zine Month! Today is day 22 and the prompt for today is Mandela. For me, that meant using found images to improve my pattern drawing skills. So what is a mandala? A mandala is a circular illustration representing the universe as seen in Hindu and Buddhist symbolism. In their traditional form, mandalas are circles that are arranged into sections that are ordered around a central point. Traditional mandalas are drawn on paper or embroidered into cloth. Some are even created using sand and are then simply blown away into the wind. In this way, their ephemerality is their beauty and they typically represent the impermanence of human life. While mandalas are beautiful as visual artworks, they often hold symbolic and meditative meaning beyond their vibrant appearance and are used as instruments of meditation and symbols of prayer. I use mandalas to practice my intricate pattern drawing skills, as well as to develop new ideas for different patterns. I also find them incredibly relaxing and they are a perfect calming method to soothe my anxiety. In this scene, you'll see me take found images as inspiration for creating my mandalas. I will either flick through magazines, use my own photography, save images I enjoy from the internet, or look at the real world around me. In this scene, I flick through a couple of magazines to find the images for my jumping off points. I use travel magazines because they always have really pretty photographs. I find that having an image as a starting off point is helpful in settling me into the mandala drawing. It also ensures that I do not just draw the same patterns over and over, and ensures I have fresh ideas. After finding an image that speaks to me, I prepare my desired medium, usually an ink pen on paper, which is what I've used here. And then just let my hand do all the work, and try not to think too deeply about what I'm drawing. I think that's the most important step, just let yourself create and try not to overthink it. In that, I hope to find new doses of inspiration and create work that I can use in my pattern portraiture. For me, mandala drawing is a really useful sketchbook exercise and a great tool for improving my art. I'd highly recommend you give it a go, especially if you have art block. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what your tips are for art block and any tips you've got for improving your skills as an artist. I always welcome that information. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to pop back a few videos and check out my how to draw pattern scene. And do hit that subscribe button if you want to see more zine making videos from me, as well as more illustration tutorials coming soon in the future. This little zine is now available in my store, so do check that out linked in the description below. Now I'm feeling suitably relaxed from all my mandala drawing, so I'm off to chill out and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!